Okay, I'm gonna show you something very interesting. Steven Anderson openly denies the fact of the Jesuit Catholic power structure, the fact that the Jesuits and the Catholics rule nations, and that Rome is Mr. Babylon, and Mr. Babylon rules over the kings of the earth, and Roman Catholicism rules over the kings of the earth, basic fact. And the Jesuits, you understand the Jesuit power structure, they control nations. But Anderson comes out and denies that and says, oh no, no, they used to have that kind of power, but they don't anymore. It's crazy, watch this. Now let's ask ourselves this question. Is Rome, Italy today ruling over the world? Is that really the seat of governance in this world? I don't think that the global government is based in Rome, Italy. Now there are people out there who think the Catholic Church is running the world, you know, and the Jesuits and it's a big conspiracy. I personally don't believe that. I don't believe that they have the power that they used to have. They used to have that kind of power, didn't they? I mean, back in the Middle Ages, I mean, they would put the crown on somebody's head. And in fact, it was a great turning point in human history when Napoleon actually took the crown out of the Pope's hand. When the Pope came to crown him, he took it out of his hand and put it on his own head. Basically showing him, I'm in charge, not you. So the bottom line is, that was a decline in the power of the Catholic Church, and we've continued to see a decline in their power and influence as far as global affairs go. So Anderson says, oh, they used to have that kind of power, but they don't anymore. Um, to claim that the Catholic Church doesn't have that kind of power anymore is ridiculous. And I showed him another video about how Anderson denies that the Catholic Church is still killing heretics. Uh, I showed that they are still killing heretics. They're not doing it openly, but they're doing it through the various militia groups, various terrorist groups that they've created like in the 1930s and 40s with the Catholic Eustachi. showed that in my last video. But to say that the Catholic Church has no power anymore, they used to have that kind of power, but they don't, is ridiculous. Just simply go online and just search, search up world leaders meeting with the Pope. You know, all these pictures of these, of these world leaders of, of supposed superpowers, uh, world superpowers like America and Russia, meeting with the Pope. You know, meeting with the Pope, essentially swearing their allegiance to the Pope. So the claim that they don't have any power anymore when world leaders are still meeting with the Pope is ridiculous. They still have that kind of power today. And again, it lines up with what the Bible says in Revelation, trying to find the verse, Revelation, I think it's verse 17, or sorry, chapter 17. Sorry, it's, uh, yeah. Chapter 17, verse 18. It says, And the woman which thou sawest is that great city, Vatican City, which reigneth over the kings of the earth. It talks about in Revelation 18, 3. It talks about the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. You see that with spiritual fornication with the kings of the earth. And Revelation 18, 9 mentions again how the kings of the earth committed fornication with her. Again, spiritual fornication, a spiritually adulterous relationship with the Vatican. But again, Revelation 17, 18. She reigns over the kings of the earth. So the claim that the Vatican, which again, you compare Revelation 17 and Revelation 18 to Roman Catholicism, it lines up perfectly. So saying that the Catholic Church, they don't have that kind of power anymore, is ridiculous and shows a very heretical and just gross ignorance of scripture and also a gross ignorance of just basic facts and just basic news and everything. Again, world leaders are meeting with the Pope. Believe me, the Pope still has that kind of power. Okay? The Roman Catholic Church has not lost their power. They still rule over the kings of the earth. They're just not doing it openly. They're just not burning heretics openly yet. They're going to do it in a time of Jacob's trouble, I do believe. They're going to be executing heretics, heretics who don't take the mark of the beast. So, don't be deceived by Anderson. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.